This video is brought to you by thepuzzler.com. The 2021 AMC 10A just happened. It was a unique test compared to past AMCs. Let's take a look at how you can maximize your chances for Amy and JMO qualification for the B. A general problem overview. The general consensus was that the problems 1 to 10 were of normal difficulty. Problems 11 to 20 were harder than usual or considered normal difficulty by some, but problems 21 to 25 were definitely easier than usual. To see our video solutions to each problem on the AMC 10A, you'll find a video link in the description below. Here are our thoughts on the AMC cutoffs. We think that the cutoffs will be approximately 115.5 if MAA decides to take only the top 2.5%. But given the current test conditions, that might happen because there might be some higher cutoffs due to factors like cheating. The cutoffs might be a bit lower and at around 103.5 if MAA just decides to take more people, maybe roughly 6%, like it's been doing in past years, although it hasn't taken that high of a percent yet. We'll now look at four strategies that you can apply on the AMC 10B to help achieve your test goals. We'll be looking at the balanced, the conservative, the horde, and the hypermodern. The type of strategy that you decide will depend on your goals. Do you want to make Amy? Maybe you want a GMO qualification? It also depends on the specific cutoffs for the 2021 year, something that we just discussed. Let's look at test strategy number one, the balanced. The balanced strategy is a semi-conservative strategy where you spend about 45 to 50 minutes on problems number one to 20 or one to 15, depending on which test that you're aiming for. Then you spend about 10 to 20 minutes trying to solve at least one or two in the last five problems or the last, last 10 problems, trying to just clutch those extra points. But then you spend the rest of your time checking because it's important that you don't get any sillies. Educated guesses are also fine to make if you think that you might have a chance on one of the questions. Let's look at test taking strategy number two, conservative. The conservative strategy. In this strategy, you're trying to basically remove all risks. You spend about 60-ish minutes on problems 1 to 15, or 1 to 20 if you're looking for JMO qualification. And then the rest of the time you spend checking, basically with no sillies. Sometimes I've seen people try to get one or two problems at the end, but most of the times you're just checking. And sillies are very important to make sure that you don't get them because they'll be the thing that make or break your score. Here are just the score cutoff rate. So if you get 20 correct with 5 blank, that's 127.5. That's a pretty solid Amy qualification. 19 correct with six blank is 123, which is also Amy qualification. 18 correct with seven blank is also Amy qualification. And 17 correct with six blank is 114, which has been making Amy qualifications in the recent years. You can even go as far as 14 correct and 11 blank to try and make Amy, although that is a bit risky. And that might only work on the AMC 12. Let's now look at test taking strategy number three, the horde. In the aggressive horde strategy, you spend 30-ish minutes on problems 1 to 20 or 1 to 15 if you're looking for Amy qualification, although the strategy isn't really recommended for Amy qualification. And then you spend about 35-ish minutes on the last five. Basically, you'll have a few minutes left for checking, but the point is that you're pretty confident in your math abilities and it's a high risk, high reward strategies. Um, if you do accidentally silly on one of the questions, that can break your score. So it's only if you're confident in your math abilities and you don't really silly often. And it's really recommended for GMO qualification. Let's now look at our final test taking strategy, the hypermodern. This strategy is usually credited to Dennis Chen for inventing it. In the hypermodern, you start at the beginning and go through the problems roughly in order, except you're not as careful as you would be in classical, 
and are more willing to skip around. Like, really skip around. For example, for 1 to 15, if you don't make progress, in about 50 seconds, you skip it. And when you do hit a wall, maybe around number 15, around number 16, depending on your mathematical abilities, you start going to number 25 and start working backwards. For example, if you got cone blocked on number th number 13 of the AMC 10A 2021, you just directly go to AMC 10 number 25, which, which might seem more approachable to you for this year. On the day before the test, here are some things that you should do to help maximize your score. First of all, don't stress over preparation. You've prepped as much as you can before the test, so now just relax. Follow your normal routine. Just do what you normally do and don't do anything that you wouldn't do on a normal day. Like for example, staying up late to watch a movie if you don't usually do that. Review, review some important formulas and stuff like that, but not too much. You don't want to overexhaust yourself the day before the test. And most importantly, get some sleep. It's very important that you get at least eight to 10 hours of sleep and you don't fall out of your normal sleeping routine because that will really help you get a solid score on the AMC 10 or the AMC 12. That's it. Good luck on the test and we hope that you achieve whatever your mathematical goals are. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked this video or learned anything from it, let me know by subscribing or commenting below. For more awesome content, check out thepuzzler.com. You'll find amazing articles and free courses there. Thank you.